Hello and welcome. Let's go on remembering and practicing infinitive gerunds in this video again. And of course, studying them with some other conjunctions. Okay, yes, let's start with a gif. And the gif says, well, yes, but actually, no. Okay. Now, uh, inspired by this gift, I wrote this, this sentence or that sentence, yes. I love it in traditional foods. Actually, however, I am also fond of eating different foods. So there is no contradiction between them sometimes like this and sometimes like this. Now, however, yes, as you know, it is from the but group conjunctions. Dialogue one, uh, Selma doesn't like eating different foods. However, on the other hand, nevertheless, but Khalil enjoys eating different foods. How do Yasemin and Sinan feel about the same experience? Yasemin uh, enjoys eating uh, different foods, uh, yet Sinan, uh, Sinan doesn't enjoy eating different foods. Okay, yeah, there are two gifts. Uh, let's read first one. I forgive you, but I never forget. I give you, however, I never forget. Yes, however. Spock say, however, says, however. I understand this, but I, but I don't understand that. I understand that you are here. However, I don't understand why you are here. Yes, I, I understand this, but I don't understand that. Okay, let's go on with however. And this is the 700th dialogue. Hey, I understand what Gregory is talking about. However, I don't understand where he is talking. We understand when or why he is talking. Yes, I understand when he is talking, but I don't understand why he is talking. Still, uh, just like, but still, yet, I can figure out why Simi is working at what temporarily. Still, I can't figure out why Tunja is working at what permanently. Can you figure out what they will do in the future? Yes, I can easily figure out what they will do in the future, but, however, yet, still, I can't figure out what they will have in the future. What they will be in the future. Dialogue 4, Semi and Tunja are different from each other. I am more like, or... I am more similar to Simi. Whom are you more like? I am more like to Tunjai. Infinitive, an industrious person always aspires to work, wants to work very much. What does a eager, yeah, an industrious person is eager to work, is willing to work. An industrious person always aspires to work. What does a workaholic always aspire to? A workaholic always aspires to work a lot. Dialogue six, shopping list. Uh, I write down, this is my habit. I write down what I will buy, not to forget to buy them. What do you do not to forget to buy what you will buy? 
I not down is I write down as well. I I write down as well uh, what I will buy, not to forget. Usually, I usually remember to buy. Okay, I usually remember to buy flowers. What do you remember to do? I usually remember to buy fruit. Gürcan never forgets to call his friend on special occasions. It's a good habit. Does Gürcan remember or forget to call her friends on special days? Unfortunately, Gürcan uh, forgets, uh, usually forgets to call her friends on their special days. Dialogue 9, Marco stopped to call for his boss. So why did he stop to do what? Marco stopped to call for his boss. Has David stopped to call for his friends or his boss? David has stopped to call for his friends. David has stopped so that, okay? Uh, David uh, has stopped so that he he uh, call, calls his uh, his friends. Save the date. Save the date. Dialogue 10, Ahmed Bey remembers to make time for his children, who also doesn't forget to make time for her children. Yes, Yaakub also doesn't forget to make time for his children. Now, Jarens, remember why you started. Yes, remember why you started. Okay. Jarens. I remember buying the small globe on November the 27th oh, uh, on November the 27th 2019. When do you remember buying that flower vase? I remember buying that flower vase on December the 27th. 20, the fifth uh, on December fifth, twenty eighteen. I have stopped worrying. I have stopped worrying about being unemployed. Did I then stop taking photos, or did did she stop to take photos? Yeah, I then uh, didn't uh, stop taking photos uh, she uh, she is still uh, going on taking photos so I then didn't stop taking photos but yesterday she stopped she stopped to take a few photos now infinitive and gerund no changes in meaning for example, Nazif loves walking or Nazif loves to walk in the mornings. Both are correct. Who loves driving or who loves, who loves to drive? Uh, Nadir loves driving or Nadir loves to drive. Who hates cooking or who hates to cook? Tunjai hates cooking or uh, Tunjai hates to cook or dislikes. Tunjai dislikes uh, cooking or Tunjai dislikes to cook. Who likes talking or who likes to talk? Uh, Furkan likes talking or Furkan likes to talk. No difference. Okay, again, no difference in meaning. Yakub can't stand swimming, or Yakub can't stand to swim. But mostly Jaron is preferred. Yakub can't stand swimming. Who can't stand fishing or to fish? Mehmet 
can't stand fishing or Mehmet can't stand to fish. Who prefers eating or who prefers to eat honey in the mornings in general? Yes, we can use both of them. But when we use uh, prefer doing something, we 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 do it like this. Uh, Mahmud prefers eating uh, eating honey to eating jam. Yes, to eating jam. Okay. But uh, Mahmud prefers to eat honey rather than eat jam. Both of them are used in general preferences. No change in meaning. Jafer begins, starts, is also possible. Jafer begins studying or Jafer begins to study English joyfully. This is his habit. This is his manner. Psychological manner. State. Who begins working or who begins to work very early? Uh, Irfan begins working very early. This is his habit. Who starts looking or who starts uh, to look after the children at 2 p.m.? Uh, Neriman starts looking after the children at 2 p.m. No changes in meaning again. Neslihan starts looking or to look after the children at 2 p.m., who continues learning or who continues to learn English in England? Uh, Mahmoud continues learning English in England. It's difficult to recognize adjective to do. It's difficult to recognize what it is, but it might be a group of fish under the water. What else might it be? It might be be the ruins of something from the past. Recognize means uh, identify, identify a person or a thing seen before. Acknowledge, no, admit, acknowledge as true. Okay. Recognize. Some verbs take no prepositions after them. Like recognize, for example. They take only the direct object. For example, when did they reach Artwin? Yes. When did they recognize that city? When did they reach Artwin? No preposition after the word reach. They say Adam entered the room without greeting them, but he entered into their conversation. Okay? So sometimes we use, uh, we don't use in general preposition after the verb enter, but uh, in this situation, uh, we use into. He entered into their conversation. He joined them. He take part in their conversation. Yasin lek the ticket to see the film, but the film was lacking in suspense. The film was lacking in excitement. Do you always have to discuss your ideas with me? Yes, discuss something with somebody. Discuss, no preposition. Why don't you answer the phone? Answer the phone. I don't advise you to ask can I ask an answer. Uh, do not take preposition. I don't advise you to ask can such questions. Do you know when she decided to marry Salim? Marry somebody. Yes. All of us should obey. Obey the laws. Obey the rules. Yes. All of us should obey the laws of where we are. Officers must obey their superior officers. As you approach Gamelik, no proposition after the approach, 
as you approach Gamlik, you will notice two lines of a poem. Seeing soon afterwards, you will see the sea. Please do not get surprised. So sincere lines. What will you notice as you approach Bodrum? Let's see what we will notice. You will notice this. Hello. When you approach the uphill, you will see Bodrum. Do not think that you will return as you are. Those before you were also like this. They always left Bodrum, leaving their mind there. By Alikarnas Balıkçası Cevat Şakir Karahaç. Now quiz time. Let's do it from the key. We advised him not to swim so far out. However, he blanked the warning. So he ignored, ignored the warning. They couldn't find a house in Istanbul at a price they could afford. Yes. My brother is not a bit like me. He seems to take after our father. Despite being angry, he didn't say anything wrong and impolite. Thank God. Namuk was an extremely entertaining speaker. So we all enjoyed ourselves even more than we had expected to before we came there. Okay, vocabulary time. Starting with, yes, intellectual curiosity. Intellectual curiosity. As long as we are open-minded, unprejudiced, and open-hearted, caring, we can, we get curious about true knowledge and good opinion. Intellectual curiosity may be called as intellectual hunger. There is no doubt that good deeds are predicated, predicated on good opinions. Good opinions are predicated on true knowledge. Yes, of course, true knowledge is for doing something, is for applying it. Knowledge is not for just knowledge. Active learning occurs or happens, arises, or comes about by spending effort. Hearing and listening are also kind of learning, but it's not enough. In addition to passive learning, we are expected to practice active learning. Knowing is for doing. A useless answer shouldn't be given to a useless question. Huh. A useless answer shouldn't be given to a useless question. The brain isn't the place of useless things. Useful things are worth carrying out. Knowledge is obtained in a way, is obtained, is acquired. Yes, knowledge is obtained in a way that, that will change into an action and behavior. So the accuracy and usefulness of knowledge is important. Uselessness is not worth doing. We'll be accountable for or responsible for our actions. That's why a useful answer should be given to a useless question. Knowledge and action, yes, the heading is knowledge and action. Turn knowledge into action, the image says. Yes, turn knowledge, develop knowledge, into action, yeah. Transfer knowledge into action. Change knowledge into action. Turn knowledge into action. Learning knowledge is also action. Yeah, that's also true. We have to get into the habit of observing something new. We have to get into the habit of observing something new. What else do we have to get into habit of doing? We have to get into habit of 
performing the true knowledge. Uh, being childlike is different from being childish. Yeah. Age of child age of child is childish. Age of child is childish and it includes autocracy. Uh, absolutism, despotism, di dictatorship, monarchy, monocracy, oppression, total totalitarianism. Totalitarianism, totalitarianism, and tyranny. Age of child is, child is childish, yeah. Okay. But of course, uh, be, uh, being childlike is, uh, is something like keeping the innocence of a child, sincerity of a child. Okay. Our tongue must be connected to our brain while we are speaking. Where else should our tongue be connected before talking? Where else should our tongue? Of course, our tongue should, uh, should also be connected with our heart before talking. So brain and heart. Our tongue must be uh, connected with our brain and heart, with both of them. Our tongue and brain and heart have to function coherently, consistently while talking, harmoniously, fairly. Yeah. Make somebody work, causative, yes. You made yourself wonder, congratulations. Made yourself wonder. You made you've made yourself want to be something, do something, have something. You motivated yourself. You made yourself wonder. Makes your wonder. Makes you sorry, sorry. Makes you wonder. Yes, if you do this, this uh, information makes you wonder. Uh, what does the the other give say? Even uh, ever sorry, ever wonder how your life would be right now if you had the power to go back, to go back and change even just one small thing. Have you ever wondered? Yeah, have you ever wonder how your life would be right, right now if you had the power to go back? But unfortunately. We don't have such power, such power. Okay, fulfilling, applying, performing, doing, and uh, implying, yes, implying, fulfilling. If the requirements of a dream is fulfilled, only then, inversion structure, only then will that dream come true. Yes, if the requirements of a dream is fulfilled, performed, practiced, only then will that dream come true. This is the answer of the question, uh, when does a dream come true? Learn and use. Learning an English word is not enough. It's important to be able to use it in sentences, yeah, to be able to use. Yes. This is the truth. And it says truth. Okay, uh, this is the end of our presentation, and I hope it was useful. It will be helpful to you. Uh, so next time, Uh, have a nice time. Yes. I wish you a good day. See you later.